Just and seconds left. You can left. see the mountains coming into frame there. We're getting very close to the ground. We begin this week at the White Sands Missile Range in New and Mexico, Captain where Starliner. aerospace behemoth Boeing successfully yeah, landed its Starliner capsule. The Starliner gives NASA another potential astronaut rideshare to the International Space Station like Boeing's competitor, SpaceX. But Starliner's not quite ready for prime time. I want to emphasize this is a test flight. You know, we're going through, this is a demonstration mission. It's a NASA launch and, and re-entry. Um, just want to make that point. The trip started last week from this launch pad in Cape Canaveral, Florida, where the uncrewed Starliner blasted off on its way to a third test after previous attempts suffered software setbacks and corroded valves. The only previous time Boeing Starliner made it to space, it completely missed the ISS and ended up in the wrong orbit. But this time, the capsule successfully docked with the ISS, marking a milestone in Boeing's space program while also putting NASA closer to competing bids by private spaceflight companies seeking to shuttle astronauts to and from space. I think that uh, we've just learned uh, you know, what is cap what we are capable of when uh, we are working together as a team. Uh, it's been phenomenal to see uh, the Boeing, the commercial um, crew uh, program, uh, the NASA team all working together to, to make this happen. We know it's been a long road and uh, we're just uh, overjoyed to be a part of uh, this success. Once docked, astronauts toured the Starliner capsule and met its passengers. A test dummy named Rosie the Rocketeer and Jeb Kerman, a Kerbinaut from the popular Kerbal Space Program video game series about space exploration. Astronauts prepped Starliner for departure Tuesday after having unloaded groceries and gear the capsule carried to space. And by Wednesday, Starliner bid the ISS farewell on its way back to Earth. But the return trip wasn't a total success as there was a failure in return thrusters that was resolved mid-air by a backup system. If Boeing resolves its issues on the ground, NASA test pilots could fly aboard a crewed Starliner launch by year's end, with competitor SpaceX having a three-year lead. Finally this week, Russia's ongoing war on Ukraine remains a constant concern for those orbiting hundreds of kilometers above Earth, but has not affected work aboard the ISS. On a personal level, our personal friendship to our, our colleagues, whom we have known for quite, quite a long time, uh, and on a professional level, our, our common commitment to the success of the mission and to continuing of the amazing work of science and technological advancement that we uh, perform on a daily basis here on the International Space Station. Russia threatened to withdraw from the ISS after the West slapped sanctions on the country for invading Ukraine. The ESA director says a Russian withdrawal is unlikely as the space partnership means everyone works together or the ISS falls apart. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.